Hey everybody, welcome back to Alina of the Arena, where things may look unfamiliar if you didn't watch the last episode. There is a new class which we're playing as called the Samurai. And they start with an Uchi Katana, this being a new weapon type called the Katana, which revolves around this focus. So we build focus up and then it all is expelled in one attack and like one huge massive attack. And it seems really strong so far. We've also picked up the Rabbit Charm, so I get less healing like half as much healing. We have Chrono Braces, so all my card upgrades are, sorry, all my card rewards are upgraded from now on. We had this at the very start of the game, so we have a very upgraded deck. And I just picked up Iron Bracer. We had in its stead for the previous floor, restore five HP before each fight, but we only got two HP because of Rabbit Charm. So just two block per turn will be more value in my opinion. Then for the deck, we started off with Roll in the deck. We had a kick in the deck and two new cards. We had Empty Mind, where we can pick cards from my hand to exhaust them. And we gain five focus for each exhaust card. So I've been throwing my cards away like crazy. Honestly, this run has been exhausting. <laughs> Get it? Exhausting. Uh, we also start with Faint. And now, again, if you watched the previous episode, Faint is a different ability now. The old Faint is now being recalled Dupe, which actually I have in my deck as well, I think. Uh, where are you? Yeah, so this is the old Faint. It's now called Jupe. Faint instead does eight damage. It does not use focus for the attack. So any focus you built up will not be applied to this ability. But the fo sorry, the damage I deal on Faint now applies focus equal to damage dealt. When it was unupgraded, it was half, but now that it's a full amount, pretty good. When you combine this with like wind up, you can really like get a huge amount of focus going. Uh, other than that, we've got some, you know, pretty stable cards. We have Mind's Eye, we have Low Blow for Canton, we have Kick to like knock people away. Oh, we have a new card called Blood for Blood, where I put up 10 block and any damage I take from the attack becomes focus. So it seems like a really good way to build up focus, but I'm going to have to potentially trade HP for it because I'm not exactly the tankiest of builds. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the run. Oh, actually, sorry, one, one, one more final thing. that We've are also holding this Sting of my ranged weapon and also an AOE light weapon. Because remember, I have the ability to exhaust cards, so I can exhaust status effects. This is actually really nice for status effect builds, in my opinion. This Empty Mind. So far, and I've only done one episode of this, I feel like this might be an S plus tier card, like SS. It's so insanely useful. And it's in my opening hand. Lovely. Right, what order are you attacking in? You're going to go first. You're doing 22 block. There's a part of me that wants to just tank the hit to get the, the Uchi Katana going, but I don't really want to take 10 damage for absolutely no reason. So I will move. And then I'll set up. I'll empty mind. I don't need strikes per se. There's a part of me that wants to get rid of blood for blood, but I, I won't. I'll keep it. Okay, you hit your friend. Congratulations. Now we're looking for 37 damage, and I have 14 focus. So I can blow this all the way into an improvise, but I have to bear in mind I will lose the attack off. Sorry, I'll lose the focus, so I won't have that attack for the next strike. So I have to be a little bit cautious with how I do things. I have 25 here. I have 7 here, so that's 32. So I need to draw into 5 more damage, and if I can, I can kill this guy. The alternative, actually, which we probably should do, is just throw a shuriken at him. That will leave me one off, and I can throw the rock as well which is guaranteed lethal. In fact, it was guaranteed anyway. I can't count. I simply cannot count. Uh, okay, I want to use one energy when I do this turn. We'll just use dupe for no reason, basically. We have no zero cost cards right now. Throw a fireball onto you and get a mind's eye going, and we'll hold on to this rock. Man, there's a lot of shurikens out there today. I also didn't notice he was attacking me still, so I'm, I'm pretty happy that I did probe the precognition. Because otherwise I would have got hit. Right. Couple of courses of play here. Leverage seems fairly useful to get away from them. But I can also just kick him if I really want to. What I think I'm going to do is move here. Kick this guy down. 
and I'm gonna build up some focus. He's gonna hit his friend. We battle stance, and I end turn. So this focus is only lost on a combat skill. It will not apply to the fireball. It will not apply to kicks. So it's pretty useful, honestly. Okay, I have lethal on you. Who are you attacking? Just straight ahead. Perfect. Wind up faint. My entertainment now does 51 damage. Look at all that gold. And we enter. Ooh, the Ozufune. Attack three surrounding tiles in front. If target dies, keep half focus. I will upgrade to Ozafune. If you're in the last run, I was trying to fish for new weapons, like, pretty aggressively. And I just couldn't get one. But now we have. Okay. Move here. Battle stance again. Kick him. Roll here. Remove the fatigue. And I'll f he's dead. I don't need to do anything. But why not? Kicking where the sun don't shine. Swipe. Attack three surrounding tiles dealing ten damage. I can see a world where this is really good with my deck. Because I can now exhaust it if I don't want it anymore. Like if I'm fighting one on one, just exhaust, swipe, get it out of my deck. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Because if the focus is applied to every single attack, that's really nice for me. I nearly forgot about Ozafune. I will say goodbye to Uchi Katana. I'm not thrilled with its power move. If a target dies, I keep half the focus. The Ozafune is just an upgraded version of it. I attack the three surrounding tiles. It does the same amount of damage. And if the target dies anyway, I keep half the focus. It's just better. It's simply just better. Also, in the last patch, it said that upgraded weapons now, you get more money for them. So, I don't exactly remember how much I would have got for this before. But I don't think I've got 26 gold. Admittedly, it's pretty mediocre still. I thought maybe you would get like, you know, 40 gold or something back on the investment. So, we just put 50 into this. But hey-ho, I'll take the 26. It's not like gold's in a huge issue anyway. Uh, where are my rests? They're both in the same column. That's a little bit annoying. Let's work my way towards them. We will create a card, because we can't forget right now, because of Chrono Bracer. Ooh, do I want Repel? Because at some point, I, I mean, I can't get rid of my guards very easily, but I wouldn't mind just getting rid of guards, and then keeping stuff like Repel, and so on and so forth. But this needs remaining block, and I'm not going to have remaining block that often with this deck. Because I haven't got any huge ways to gain a lot of block. Hmm. I might try it. I, I need to pick up defensive cards. I need to value my defense more than I do. Admittedly, by the way, in case you weren't aware, I'm not on Hellwalker 15 for this run. I'm on Hellwalker 10. Just to give them a bit more of a better chance of, you know, seeing the cards. And not just dying on the first floor. Well, they seem pretty strong, honestly. Then I think you can shop me. Okay, I I'm happy enough to invest in this weapon, I think. Get Ozafune going. Do I need more power moves on this? I honestly would prefer just more stats right now. It's now 1-5. I'm really looking for Flurry, by the way. I think Flurry with this deck is going to be actually bonkers and then sure give me another power move for 200 so i can attack in an aoe twice and now fight me and this might be a great time to show this off hang on a minute oh yeah i have to stand next to them i forgot <laughs> it's not a ranged attack like that But I could gain... I can gain 39 focus. I have lethal on them, don't I? If this works the way I think it does, I, I'm kind of testing this now. I gain 39 focus. Now I do it again on dupe. Holy... 
macaroni. That's insane. And I kept half the focus from killing each one. So I've still got 23 focus. You're just dead. Uh... <laughs> okay. Do I want another empty mind? Honestly, one is good enough. I will take B foot plus though. That's more scaling. And I'll just sell these. I have a choice of event and event. I will take event, please. A cloaked figure sneaks up behind you and quietly greets you. Want to place a bet on yourself? I can help you for a small fee, of course. <laughs> so how about it? Deal 45 damage in a single attack to receive 250 gold. Absolutely. Ah, I think these are the guys that have been changed. Yes. So these shield gladiators with the spiky shields before didn't have a spiky effect on them. They now do. So it's spiky one they have on them. So hang on a minute. What's going on here? You're pushing me first. So you're not going to grab me. You're doing 16 damage. I could do a really rare thing for me here and just block. And not attack you. It seems kind of weak, but my hand is a little bit weak right now. So repel. Guard. Guard. This also means I retain my focus. I'll do three damage back to you. Yeah, this feels this feels nice. And I'm also on a rock. A Dwayne, if you will. Okay, this time I can't block all the damage, so I probably won't. Instead, I will move here. I will strike you. And I will leverage off you and kill you. Alright, I'm surrounded. But is that a problem? A little bit. I can't kick you, sadly. Because you're immovable. Okay, uh, we just beef up then. I think I'm not going to use Empty Mind in this turn for like the first time. Although maybe I should still use Empty Mind. Hang on a minute. This might be one of those scenarios where it's better for me to do this. I think I'm accepting I'm going to take some damage here. Because if I wind up... And do dupe, I can get wind up back again. Hang on a minute. Ah, it's too late. I've already gone with it. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work as well as I thought. Because I can't kick him either. I have to escape from him at some point. Yeah. Escarpe. That's a small issue. What's my deck coming up? There are some helpful cards coming up. I will give you that. In fact, so helpful that I might improvise first. And see what I get. Okay, that's what we needed. Oh, I hit two enemies, so Improvise gave me two cards. Holy shit, that's really good. I didn't even... How did I not know that was a thing? Okay, I'm going to strike you again. Or am I? No, let's, let's wind up strike and make sure this guy dies at the back. I take some damage. Okay, I'm okay with this. Then I empty mind. Get rid of all the fatigues. I'll keep battle stance for now. And then put precognition on. You stun me. But I don't think I care. Correction, I might care. I care. I, I've run the numbers back. I do care. 
I'm going to move because I don't want to get hit by this guy. We do have a low flow coming up. I think that is what we use. We Osafune for 32. I kick you. I remove the stun. We're looking at 41 now. And you're doing 19 damage. So I can actually block all of it. Right? 10, 4, 4. That's 18. Plus the 2 that I start with. That's 20. So I can do 1 damage to him. But it's a pretty tame turn. I do get more focus though. So I think I will do it. In fact, I get a lot more focus. It's, it's blood for blood, not counter. So I don't do one damage. I'm talking nonsense. I gain 19 focus though, which is very nice. Faint will do 15 damage and will give me 15 focus, correct? I think so. Yes. Okay, we're good. I dupe you. That breaks you. Then, just to kill you off, I'll Garden Strike. And we've taken one damage this game. Have I done 45 in a single turn? I have, right? Yeah, I've done 55. I didn't know he told you, honestly. And now, we move in for the kill. With our great finisher, Entertainer. And we should be in the money again. 250 gold, thank you very much. Holy moly, Backstab's going to be good in this deck. Do I want a Weakening Dust? Uh... <laughs> do I value it more than a Health Potion at this point? I kind of do, honestly. I value... Not that. I value this more than the Shuriken. I honestly think Weakening Dust will save me more than 20 health at the cost of the run. So you know what? Drink up. For one health, I'll take it. And now give me an elite. It's the spline month or whatever she was called in the, the patch notes. Okay, I, I like this turn. Move in. Faint. Strike. Leverage. Discard the strike. We shouldn't get too good to use Syndrome here. And I, I kind of did there. If I can kill this unit, I should have killed them. Or like, I could have done a lot of damage to them. Because you're going to do 26 to me. And I don't have a great answer to this. Other than just weakening you. Which is probably what we're going to do. Alright, move in. Improvise. Hits two units. Gets me a backstab and a strike. Can I kill you? Answer, I don't think so. I can't. Okay. Interrupt them. The Great Blade. Very nice. Okay, you're trying to spawn more dudes? I think not. I'm going to move over here. We're going to wind up. And I'm going to hit you for 58. I kill you. And then we're going to mind die. So these units shouldn't combine again. Because there was a bug... They, they would combine and you know the game wouldn't be thrilled with you when that happened but it's gone now so 17 damage how much focus do I have? 2 so this is doing a lot of damage still but it should have lethal I do but I have to use the low blow for it fine I'll use it you clone yourself and let's see if I have the damage to kill you. Okay. I do. Kind of messed up, honestly. We do this, get a dupe. Give me wind up back. I kick you first. I wind up. I beef up. I throw a fireball at you. Clarity, this is a new card. When you gain block, apply one focus. 
This is actually insane. It will work with my Iron Bracer. I think. So this is going to give me three focus a turn. I think. I have to check if this works. Obviously, there was other good stuff there. I will not pretend otherwise. I would have liked to take Warcry as well. But hey-ho. I don't think I desperately need Warcry, actually. Event me. You see a girl nervously unwrap a bundle of wares. C -c -c Come have a look. They're all quality goods. You, you, you won't be disappointed. She seems worried about being caught and kicked out of the arena. Uh, I could buy Conserve. Nope. I could buy Boarding Flames. Mm, probably not. Although, hang on a minute. <laughs> Do I become a Fire Samurai? Because this could give me more focus. Because it is another way to gain block. And I do have a way to set file to tiles. Yeah. Let's just take everything. <laughs> Let's take every synergy. Because then how can we lose? If we have cards to combat everything, we can't lose Tap's forehead. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, you're a bunch of spiky boys. Can I do 32 damage on the first turn? I can. But I will take damage doing so. Or I won't... Oh, no, hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. If I strike, I get 13 focus back, so I'll have 15 focus. So it's actually 13 plus 13, which is 26, plus 11. So I can actually do Born in Flames. Or I can do Faint, Guard, Strike. And I think it's lethal. Faint, Guard, Strike, Born in Flames. Now, we have a swipe. So the temptation is obviously to use the swipe to get some kills going on. Repel me. Can I get the kill here? It's you that's the issue. Repel, improvise, swipe. So it's going to drop down my damage. Cons I say considerably. You know what? I have two focus. So my swipe is doing 15 bear. That seems like a lot. I guess it's upgraded. So I'm doing 30. Yeah, I have lethal. Irrespective of what improvise gives me. But I have to do this once. And that'll draw me two cards. Oh, it's just off from what I would like. It's a pity. I can't beef up this turn. Oh, I can, but... I'd have to swipe. No, I can. I'm talking nonsense. We can beef up now instead of the other strike. And I can kill you with a kick instead. Excellent. Okay, I have lethal on you just instantaneously. <laughs> I will empty mine myself. And I'm just going to remove the guard. No, I'll remove blood for blood too. I should have done that in the opposite order, by the way. That was really fucking stupid of me again. Holy shit, there's a lot of good loot on the ground as well right now. What the fuck is this gemstone? Hello? What? Hang on a minute. Throw straight forward deals one damage. Is that new? Because I do not recognize it. Uh, either way, you're dead. Does it sell for more? 
I do like Slam as well. It's a great movement ability and it was buffed. It's removed the effect of it that you've got a fatigue. So I'm, I'm going to take it. I think the Muscle Potion is better than the Gemstone. Yeah, the Gemstone sells for way more. Holy shit. Someone must have absolutely loved my performance. Then I think Weakening Dust is better than the Crippling Blowgun, but it's actually pretty... Pretty close there. But I'll get rid of it. Just because I have my own way to apply Vulnerable. Uh, meditate and create because it's the only thing that really is useful for me another faint that could be good whenever you move gain 3 momentum and 3 block hang on a minute hang on a minute I'm also going to have to take my headphones off for a second because holy shit my office is hot right now and my door is open Uh. So Dempsey Roll with Clarity is a synergy. So every time I move, I gain block, but I'd also gain a focus, so it's more damage. Would this give me more over the course of a run than Faint would? I don't think so. I don't think I need Dempsey Roll. I think another Faint, though, would be nice. We've done all the fights I actually need to do, but I think I'll still fight the Elite for money, maybe? Yeah, why not? I'm also testing this build out, so we need to fight as many enemies as possible. Okay, this is a pretty good opening. Holy shit, I didn't even consider this synergy. Backstab will apply Vulnerable, which will make my Faint do more damage, which will give me more focus. So Backstab. Faint now does 20. And I get 20 focus. My Swipe then does 52. And then in mind's eye. So he hits himself with an attack and leaves him on two health. Oh, I was hoping for it to entertain. Oh well. Let let's just kill him. Perfect. Fireball, every three times you deal damage, add one small fireball to your hand. I could make this really good. Because I'm attacking a decent amount already. I'm, I'm just taking everything. I've got 32 cards in my deck. Maybe 33 even. Yeah, 33. But I think I can just use my shops for items. I think I can just upgrade my weapons. Hello, Triple Fist. If the Fist was actually Katana, I would take you. But you know what, Triple Fist? I think something is potentially trying to outdo you right now. And it's this Osafune. Let's take it to plus six. Or plus five, I guess. Or plus three, because it was a one three at the start. Yeah, plus three. What does it cost now? 500. Holy shit. Uh, I'll add more power moves to it. No, I won't. Okay, Stinger. I've decided you're worth keeping. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an upgrade too. You're both ranged and AoE. Then I rest, I train. I will take a Burning Flames plus breeze. And then I'll fight another enemy because I would like another upgrade. That's a lot of enemies. Holy cow, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, move. Equip your new improved Stinger. Improvise him. Fireball of first. Improvise. That interrupts this guy, who's very annoying. Uh, you know what? Do I want to be held by you? Not really. I'm going to interrupt you as well. I was sat on a rock, so it didn't really matter. But now I can use the rock to interrupt this guy instead, and I can just smack these people instead. So let's throw a rock at you to interrupt your attack. Let's re-equip Ozafune. And Ozafune is hungry for damage. Unfortunately, I can't kill you with the Ozafune this turn. I can if I drink the Muscle Potion, though. Alright, I'm going to do it. For more money. 
what an entertainment that was. We'll take a clarity. Throw a small fireball at you. And then... You know what? That's going to be in the way. This thing is... Oh, he's self-destructing. <laughs> uh, okay, we need to move. But fortunately for us, there's a grappling hook here. Don't just pull him to... Actually... Can I do 34 damage this turn? I can. Okay, pull him towards you. Wind up. Backstab. I know that's not the right order. I should beef up first, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so what cards in my hand do I no longer need? This should be the question I ask myself. And I think the answer to this is... I don't need this strike anymore. I don't need the roll. I don't really need the mind's eye, but I think I'll just play safe from there. I wish that would kill. We'll just leverage. We'll mind's eye first. Leverage. Discard the small fireball. Slam kick. Sure, I don't want them in my deck anymore. Well, the slam at least. So I'll slam to there, then I'll just kick you out of the way if you don't mind, and then I'll throw a small fireball at you. And I'll battle stance. This flaming bot I'm probably taking with me to the boss fight. So you're you're not dead. I have to do one damage to you. What a pity. Oh come on. No, it's fine. Faint him, strike him, and then just guard this attack. I should remember as well, hang on a minute, I, I'm being a little bit dumb. I have class clarity now, so when I have leftover energy and guards, I should use the guards still. And uh, take a small fireball, by the way. Gain four block when you play a status. I'm not going to play status that often, so I think that would be a step too far. The jab, though, could be funny. Fill my deck with jabs. I, I need draw, though, with the jab is the thing. Otherwise, it's not really going to work out very well for me. Yeah, I don't think jab is the thing. I think jab is really good when you have a bleed status effect. I think, honestly, none of this is good enough. I think we skip. We'll take the flaming bottle, though, with me. And look how much gold we've got again off one fight. There's a part of me that says, why not fight this? But there's another part of me that says, why fight it? So I think we're going to train and upgrade one card. And the card at this point will be roll. Probably should have upgraded it before, honestly, before boarding flames. But hey, I'm done. And it's the Ice Queen. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I can't easily get out of this attack. I can do it. But there's a part of me that says why get out of it. I could also move up to her. Actually, I think this is the smart man play. We move up to a set fireballer going... We get a battle stance going, and I just weaken her. An interrupter. She's now doing less damage this turn, and we can use the Molotov later. Okay. So I can get behind you here and take no damage. So I will. Move. Roll. Gives me a fatigue. Then, faint it, and now I'm going to make a bold play. I don't think I need Entertainer in this fight. 
We definitely don't need that. I don't want that. I don't think we want this. It's good damage, don't get me wrong, but it's a one-use card. I'd rather just get the focus from it this turn. The real aggressive play is to remove Strike as well and just fully set up for the next turn. Which might be the play, honestly. Get rid of Strike as well. I, I have no more energy for this turn. Yeah, sure. So I've now got 38 focus. I've got 40 focus. I can't break you this turn. But I can interrupt you again. We'll wind up. That's 108 damage on Improvise. I will take it. We'll also pick up this rock, if you don't mind me. And then... If we're going to do this, we should do it now. Let's just do it. Born in Flames... Oh, I can do everything. I'm, I'm again. I'm I'm talking nonsense. I thought low blow cost one for some reason. Small fireball and low blow you. Right, more frost. Excellent. So we ignore the effect of burning tiles. I'm stood by two enemies doing twenty damage. But I'm going to move on to this tile because this gives me a focus. Because I'll be. Oh yeah, I can't be burnt anymore. But if I occupy the tile, I gain block. That's how this works, right? Oh, I want to redo my turn! I could have kicked this thing next to her, and she would have taken 14 damage, and I would have laughed. Ah, uh, oh well. Backstab. Leverage. Remove a guard. Honestly, I don't want this in my deck. Sm throw a small fireball here and in turn. Sixty-two is what we're looking for. Clarity is the thing that we like. Let's move next to you. Clarity. Mind's eye. Dupe. Give me my wind up. Give me my backstab back. Actually, the wind up is just better. Yeah, for now it is. Because I can only use one more attack this turn. I think wind up swipe is fine. We take zero. We're on a freezing tile though. But we're now going to start smacking you. Really, really hard. Beef up, strike. Strike. Small fireball. We're going to burn ourselves. Because we like it. I should have used my block, I forgot. It gives me focus. I'm dumb. Swipe. It also counters the frost thing, so I'm pretty happy with this. I would have to get rid of leverage as well for my deck now. Because it's just slightly annoying. Guard. Guard. Okay, you jump. You would have knocked me back anyway. You frosted the entire arena again, you nerd. Okay, you have me here a little bit. I'll give you that. I think we say no to Ozafune for a second. So I can attack from here instead. Then I... F I empty mine first. I don't want the guard. Part of me doesn't care about the roll anymore either. Is that stupid? A little bit. Then I can faint you. I should have done that in a different order. Okay, we fucked up. Give me kickback. <laughs> and then just look there confused. I'll remove a fatigue from my deck. You're going to hit me for 34. We might die here. I'm a little bit frightened of it. I have 19 block. I can also set you on fire again. I stay here, I think. I backstab you to put vulnerable on you. I fireball you. I small fireball you. I throw a rock at you. 
I repel. I blood for blood. That's going to give me 36 focus for next turn. Slam can get you out of some situations here. Wind up. Faint. We have all the focus in the game now. That's an action, so we can throw it. Oh, I can't get away. Shit. Shit. No, I can do it. Slam into them. We nearly fucked up here, right? I did at least. No, you know what? No, we nearly fucked up. You're, you're on the ride now. Eh, they're dead. Man, that was kind of clutch, honestly. But we'll finish you in style. Let's get out my Ozafune. We're going to wind up. And I'll just do 166 damage on it from Improvise, if you don't mind. Man, they were scary. Honestly, another Blood for Blood is pretty tempting. I might just grab it. Just grab every card. Why not? Mailbreaker. Piercing damage. Already have it. Gain one energy each turn. You choose from two less cards. Nah. Mountain Bracer. Nah. Ah, Patience Bracer. When, fo uh, when attacked, apply one focus. I think that is just worse than what I've got now. So I think we skip. And that'll do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, why not leave a like and subscribe? Everything helps me out. And I'll see you on the next part. Goodbye.